Hello Trader, welcome back to the Pockets Forex. We would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who has been consistently watching our videos, dropping those likes, those comments. Thank you very much. We appreciate you very much. Also, we would like to let you know that in 2021, we are looking forward to making an effort to giving you more value. There's plans set in place to make sure that you are given more value in 2021. Please stick around the channel as you witness the growth of the channel. One thing to keep in mind is that if you trade in the market in this season, this weeks, this this weeks, next weeks, just keep in mind that there's the one year bar closing and another one year bar opening. So there's gonna be some couple of inconsistencies. We might get heavy spikes. We might get gaps as you, you've already seen this past week. There's just gonna be uh, some inconsistencies. There are likely to be inconsistencies. So just make sure that just to be safe in this market, if, if you want to trade, just make sure that you reduce your position sizing if you can and make sure that at all times you use proper risk management. With that said, let's move on usdjpy for usdjpy we've been talking about a big move up we've been talking about a big movement up that we say that we'll be looking forward to taking but before then we say that there's an expected small down move which is going to happen we've been talking about this down move we say that we're expecting this small down move to take place then after it takes place then we'll be looking forward for a big wave up now this is the wave up that we'll be interested in taking as you can see price has already given the small down move that we have been expecting right now only uh, the setups that we're looking for is buy only one thing to keep in mind when you're trading the forex market this is just a tip one thing to keep in mind is that your primary goal in the forex market is to preserve your capital your primary goal is to preserve your capital then the second the secondary goal is to make profits so when you're looking for entries or you're looking forward to trade in this movement ensure that risk management is in place then that's when you can think about profits now so we are expecting this big movement on usd jpy we have euro nzd on this chart euro nzd for euro nzd you all know that we say that we're expecting a big wave up a big wave up from this point and as you can see we got this impulse move and we say that we're expecting to get a corrective structure and uh, this past weeks we got this corrective structure and price just moved up then it's giving a corrective structure now this is just the same corrective structure it's just advancing it's getting bigger you see when you're expecting a corrective structure a correction can start small like this or it can start small then it grows bigger like this it can grow like this so that is what we're having here on euro nzd we had this small corrective structure now it's advancing it's growing bigger which means that we're expecting to get something like this a bigger corrective structure like this then that's what we'll be looking for for this big movement up that's what we have for euro nzd we're expecting only buy setups if you're looking forward to enter in this for a buy and you, you haven't entered you should be looking forward to enter after we get this down move here then you can be looking forward for an entry up this next focus is on cadjpy now cadjpy is not a movement we focus at this past week on our youtube focused but it's a setup that we focused at as the week was unfolding in the inner circle and we managed to spot that there's a next down move here there's an expected down move here and as you can see we are getting this down move if you are looking forward to trading this you can either get a pullback here or a corrective structure a pullback or a corrective structure then you can start looking forward for an entry you can start looking forward for an entry entering here it would be risky because this setup can easily push pull back like this it can easily pull back like this then from here we can be getting another movement and this is a setup that we already have our uh, stop loss on break even so if you'd like to trade it just make sure that you we have a pullback here or we have a corrective structure that's when it can be safe for entry otherwise if you just get it moving like this you can just ignore it and look for setups that are giving good movements but as of this one you can just set it aside let's move on to the next chart this is AUDNZD AUDNZD was focused from this point to move up like this move up like this and if you would have loved to trade this and you didn't get an entry wait for a corrective structure here there's an expected corrective structure here then price would start continuing up or we can get a pullback like this a pullback like this then price can start continuing up like this so look for a corrective structure for you to be able to buy this but just buying from this point just buying from this point would be risky remember 
your goal in the forex market is to preserve your capital that's your primary goal and then your second goal is to make profits so when a chart is like this you wait for a pullback if you need to buy then get a good entry here rather than just buying from the top you want to buy lower that's on AUD and ZD we're expecting a movement up this big movement is still expected but we may get a corrective structure like this then continue up we have NZDCHF. NZDCHF is showing signs of down move like this. We're seeing signs of a down move. There's an expected down move here. That's what we're expecting on NZDCHF. There's an expected down move. This next week price might just give a small corrective structure like this in the lower time frames. Then we get a down move here like this. Then here we may push up like this before moving this down move here like this. So if you'd love to trade this cell if you'd love to trade this cell and you're not already trading it you can wait for this pullback here up to this point then you can be looking for for a sell but if you are trading this then we just get a corrective structure like this then a down move like this you can be moving your stop loss to break even if you're already in this trade this next week we're expecting to get this down move here because structure is showing that there's an expected down move here on this chart we have euro cad euro cad now euro cad this past week we're expecting to get a corrective structure here and we say that after we get this corrective structure there's an expected down move and this down move here is a down move that will set aside then wait to get a bigger buy here a bigger buy here there's a buy that we're looking forward to taking and price just moved up like this so from here there's a chance price might continue up all the way up to this point breaking all this previous highs all the way up to this point then from here this is when we are likely to get this bigger down move and this down move if it follows through it's gonna be breaking this law and breaking this law that's what we're expecting on euro seed we're expecting price to continue all the way up to this point that's what it's expected then from here we may get this sell down move this movement up we're not going to be buying this movement because it's a, it's a small movement we want this bigger movement so that we can get good risk to reward that is why we choose to ignore this movement and try to capture this bigger sell movement that's what we're looking for to trading all the way down to this point that is euro cat on this chart we have gbp usd gbp usd gbp usd this past week here we're expecting to get a correction here in our forecast we say that we're expecting to get a corrective structure here and then we're looking for for price continuing down that was our focus on gbp usd now as you can see when the market opened when the market opened it gapped it gapped at about 100 pips we had a 100 pips gap and you see that was a change of structure in euro gbp usd we got a change of structure due to the gap and price decided to move up all the way up breaking this previous high and this next week what we're expecting to get we're expecting to get a corrective structure here then a down move based on what structure is showing now we're expecting to get a corrective structure here then this down move here and this down move here is the same down move we were expecting to get here before we got the market gapping here we're expecting to get this down move all the way up to this point but this down move this down move up to this point is needed so even after price gapped and pushed one more up breaking this previous high they still expected to move down like this because structure needs to be completed so we're expecting this down move to complete our structure this is euro gbp for euro gbp as well you can see that there's a gap that took place here over the weekend this past week so looking into the structure we had focused at a bigger corrective structure here like this then price continues up we had focused at that movement but because of this gap there was a slight change of structure as you can see we pushed down like this after the week opened and we pushed up like this this next week we are looking forward to getting this down move this down move may take place and then it can break this previous low slightly then price pushes up that's what we may get we may get this down move and this up move and these are not really big moves but if you know how to trade this and if you feel like it's safe to tr take the trade your entry strategy gives you an, an opportunity to buy you can be buying here and you can be selling here but this are um, really small movements so if you trade a movement which is as small as this and then you get a spike that is as big as this you see your risk to reward is 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 compromised here your risk to reward is compromised here so these are movements that i would recommend someone ignoring but if you know how to trade them you can go for them no problem gbp chf 
Now for GBPCHF, just like most GBP pairs, we've got price gapping. As you can see, price has given a gap as well on GBPCHF. So what we are expecting based on this current structure this next week, we're expecting to get price giving a corrective structure like this, then moving up moving up like this that's what we're expecting on gbpchf price giving a corrective structure then moving up there's also a chance price might push one more down like this and if price pushes one more down we might get a corrective structure like this then one last down here then after we get this down move breaking this previous law we will get price moving up like this that's what's expected and price would only be moving up to this point not this point Price would only be moving up to this point. Then from here, we might be getting a big down move like this, breaking this previous law. That's what's expected on GBPCHF based on structure. On this chart, we have GBPCAD. GBP on GBPCAD, just like most GBP pairs, we got price giving that gap. As you can see, we got price giving that gap. And right now, what we're expecting based on this current structure, we are expecting to get this uh, corrective structure here then price moving up breaking this previous high that's what we're expecting this structure might differ we might be getting a structure that is small or we might be getting a bigger corrective structure like this or we may just get a pullback like this then price continuing higher breaking this previous high so if you know how to trade this you know how to buy after we get this corrective structure you can be looking forward for a buy opportunity cad chf cad chf now for cad chf we're expecting this down move we're expecting this down move there's a down move that we've been talking about we're expecting this down move to break this previous low here this previous low after we get this down move breaking this previous low we will be having price moving higher like this that's what we're expecting we're expecting price to move higher like this and if you are looking forward to entering this um, pair wait for price to push up to this point this is a point you'll be looking forward for taking buys this movement up is expected to break this previous high and break this previous high slightly all the way up to this point that's what we're expecting for cad chf our bias is up even though this down move is expected to complete it's just a small down move so you can just ignore this down move then look for entries to buy all the way up gbp jpy for gbp jpy this past week this past week we talked about an up move like this on gbp jpy we see that there's an expected up move like this to complete structure then after this up move takes place we're gonna be looking forward for a down move and as you can see this down move has this up move has just gapped it's given a gap in that direction and this next week there's a likely chance that we may get a correction here then this up move to complete this bigger up move that we focused at then from here there'll be a bigger sell opportunity there'll be a bigger sell opportunity so if price moves up like this and you're able to get an entry here your entry strategy confirms a sell you can be looking forward to selling down all the way down up to this point one other thing to keep in mind on this pair is that there's a there, there can be a chance that from here if price does not give a corrective structure then up there can be a chance that it continues down like this and if it continues down like this this down move will not be ready this down move will not be ready if gbp jpy moves down from here if it moves down from here like this this movement this down move all the way up to this point will not be ready it will it will follow through later it will follow through later so uh, by this down move it would mean that we will need this up move we will need this up move here breaking this previous high and if we get this up move breaking this previous high then this down move bigger down move will be ready that's when it can be ready and from here if we just get a corrective structure here a small one or a big one then price moves up this is when this down move will be ready you can be looking forward for this down move here this past week on usd chf we were looking forward to uh, a buy we're looking forward to taking a buy because we stated that any time from now we may get an entry to buy but our entry confirmation has not given us any entry on usd chf so we're just gonna let it uh, move like this however it, it moves until this structure here is completed by the way this is a known structure in in our team there's a known structure whatever usd chf is doing is a known structure it just developed and we realized that there's a likely chance here that we might get an up move up to this point there's a likely chance we might get an up move up to this point then from here we'll be getting this down move 
we'll be getting this down move according to the current structure we'll be getting this down move then after we get this down move here we can be looking forward for this bigger buy but as of now we just want to let it complete its movement if we we get an opportunity to trade this up move here if we get an opportunity to trade this up move here and we get good risk reward we can be looking forward to that entry and then from here we can assess structure and see what structure is likely to do if structure from here decides to continue up we will just let it continue up but if we focus and realize that the, this down move as we just say that there's a likely chance that from here is gonna drop if we realize that that down move is gonna cut follow through then we can be looking forward for an exit here then looking forward for this buy when price gets to this point that's usd chf we are expecting only up move we're expecting up move either an up move to this point or an up move all the way up like this but we're more likely to get an up move up to this point than down that's more likely to happen than up this is gbp nzd gbp nzd remember for gbp nzd we focus that this up move we say that where well, there's an expected up move here there's an expected up move here this past two weeks we talked about this movement here then we say that we're expecting after this movement happens we're expecting to get a drop breaking this previous low and we got that drop and from here we say that we're expecting to get a big up move like this even though price has kept even though price has kept we got this up move here this next week we're looking forward to getting a corrective structure here and if you like to trade this you can be looking forward for a buy after this after we get this corrective structure completing you can be looking forward for a buy all the way up to this point on gbp nzd too far.